As we approach the preview event, there's been even more massive teases about Season 9. Okay then, we have a lot to get through in this video. We have two video teasers that Sea of Thieves released, and then an image that has been uploaded to the official Sea of Thieves website. Starting off with the video you just saw there, we can see that there is a brand new skull that appears to be changing colours from pink to blue. The caption that Sea of Thieves released with this image is one skull to light them all. Now, there's a few possible theories surrounding this skull. The first is that this could be used in some sort of new feature in Season 9, such as the potential new world event, or whatever this tornado is that we saw in the official trailer for the preview event. I've seen that floating around quite a bit. I've also seen, and what I was sort of leaning towards most, is that this skull is almost going to act like a new ritual skull for the Fort of the Damned. See if they've captioned it one skull to light them all. To light them all being the six flames of fate. The colours that it's switching between are pink and blue. They are obviously two flames of fate getting killed by a shark or siren and getting killed by a player. We'll have to wait until Monday to find out of course, but I mean, one skull to light them all. Six flames of fate, two colours of the flames of fate in the skull. You activate the Fort of the Damned with the skull. I mean, I, 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 it seems one of the most logical conclusions I can come to. I mean, it literally bursts into flames, and then it changes colour, so I don't know. In fact, I've just noticed that at the start, it's the colour white, and it bursts into the pink flame. And I just checked on Google, and the order of the flames goes from white to pink to blue. So it's literally changing in the order of the flames of the Fort of the Damned. The island that this is actually on appears to be Old Faithful, so maybe there's a new world event voyage or something where you obtain this. Maybe it's exclusive to Old Faithful, maybe you can get it around the map. Who knows, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm excited to see what this is nonetheless. Let's move on to the next clip. Now this clip released yesterday, but there wasn't a point making a whole video on it. There wasn't too much revealed, but it's, it's quite interesting. Let me just play it and then we'll discuss it afterwards. If you don't know where this clip is taken, this is at Stevens. Spoils. And the caption that Sea of Thieves captioned this video was, The call will soon be answered. Referencing the Hunter's Call, obviously. This is going to be a replacement for Merrick, we can probably presume. Part of the Hunter's Call, because Merrick obviously died in the adventures. And people do miss having an NPC that hand fish into its a really primary location. Now, the reason I find this interesting isn't actually what it's showing us. That's just an NPC. One well, NPC is cool, and it could be some really famous character. We don't know who it could be. Probably some descendant of Merrick. What I find interesting is the rate that they're teasing the Hunter's Call. First, the bait boxes from Thursday's tease, and now this. Even though they're small teases, could this be some sort of Hunter's Call revamp? I tend to think not. Because at EGX, they said they're in the planning phase for the Hunter's Call, an update for it, and they know it needs some love, but they want to make sure they do it right. They know the concerns around it, and they are, as I say, in the planning phase. That was November 2022, that was when the EGX panel got released, and so it was a few weeks before that that it actually happened. And I don't think they can execute an update that quickly. If they're in the planning phase about three months ago, three, four months ago, I just, I can't see how they're executing that now. 
Perhaps it could be laying the groundwork for it. Perhaps in a future update we'll get Hunter's Call updates. Maybe we'll get some form of Hunter's Call mini voyage or something. I mean, bait boxes, you'd think they, if they can store fish and meat in them, maybe you can hand them into them just like you can hand crates of wood into the merchants. So, I don't know there. Fingers crossed for some Hunter's Call stuff, but I wouldn't count on it. But again, it's interesting to see the rate that they're teasing the Hunter's Call stuff at. Finally, we have this image. This image is taken off of the Sea of Thieves website under seaofthieves.com slash television, where it tells you all the upcoming shows on Sea of Thieves TV. This upcoming show is, of course, the Season 9 reveal and anniversary preview show. This image is attached as a tease. We can see a lot here about what could be coming in the update. Let's address the elephant in the room. That beautiful chest. The chest looks kind of similar and kind of in the same vein as the chest of ancient tribute, but almost as if the Veil of the Ancients took over it. I can't tell what this is going to be, but I'd look forward to seeing it in-game. On the pirates, we can see two new clothing sets that we've never seen before. Perhaps one of them will be the seasonal clothing set, perhaps one of them will be an outpost. I don't know, there could be rewards for something, we just don't know. On the ship, we can see a new sail and flag. Presumably, these will be the seasonal sail and flag because there's no other cosmetics on the boat, and in season passes, there's always a single set of sails and a single set of flags, which you can unlock. Additionally, we can also see that the woman on the left seems to be holding the skull that we saw in the tease. It could be another skull, but it's glowing purple. I mean, it's gold, so yeah, it could be quite different, but I don't know if the skull is a primary feature that's coming in Season 9. It could be that. We can see on the bottom, there's a skeleton. I don't know if there's going to be more skeleton cosmetics coming in this update, but there's, I don't know, it just looks weird. The pan seems to be a bit off, so who knows here. Finally, throughout the whole of the image, there's forts, the three forts. The first is on the left, we can see a little, little sneak peek of one. The second is in the background, and the third is to the right. They did say... In the Merfolk's Lullaby stream, they're working on forts currently. They've got a particular fort they're revamping. There's three forts here, so it might not be that. But could they be doing something with forts here? It, I, I can't see why they'd put forts in the background but other than that. Anyways, that does just about bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. What do you make of all these teases, and are you excited for tomorrow's preview event? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.